All right. Going for a third degree black belt within our Meek Taekwondo program, this is the form known as Gaebek. Gaebek has 44 moves in it, and it is named after the General Gaebek, who was once a great general in the Bakche dynasty. This diagram of this form is in a straight line that goes forward and backwards or up and down instead of side to side like in Paung. And the straight line represents the severe and strict military discipline of General Gaebek. Let's get going. This is actually one of my favorite forms. From Chumbi, you are going to use your right foot to step back into a back stance, bringing those elbows up really high and you're going into a low open palm X block with your left hand on top. From there, you are going to do a front snap kick at a 45 degree angle with your right foot, but land in a walking stance moving forward with a double punch, and that last one is a reverse punch with your left arm. From this move, you are going to step back into another walking stance with a rising block with your left arm, bringing it right back down for a low block with the same arm. From here, we're gonna do a pressing block going from the top left area all the way down to the bottom right area. Stay in that walking stance. From this pressing block, we're going to step up into a very high exaggerated move, kind of like you're faking somebody out that you're about to do something, but you're really not because you're going to just step into a horse stance and with your left arm, you're gonna do a palm thrust up and from here, you're gonna be using your right arm to come out into a punch, and your left arm is doing a back fist at the same time behind you, using that left arm to come and do a back fist right in front of you with your right arm right under it. You're gonna shift around in two steps, one, two, to face the back into a back stance, double knife hand, sadol. Use your front leg to do a front snap kick. Use your left hand to do a spear and then shift your arm to do the other hand with another spear. From here, you're going to grab the neck as you do a side kick. And once you perform this side kick, you're actually turning all the way around into a back stance, into a fighting stance, so two closed fists. From here, we're moving forward, but we're turning to our left to face the other side, facing the back in another back stance, in a fighting stance. From there, we're gonna turn around again, this time facing the front in a back stance, sadol, open palms. From here, you're gonna turn a little bit to your right to sit into a horse stance. This is what we call a arm break move. So your left arm is gonna be up higher than your right arm. Shift all the way around to the left with your right leg into a walking stance facing the back with a low block that is an open palm. You're gonna then turn with your right leg to do a roundhouse to the face. Turn immediately into a jump side kick. Some people do a flying side kick right here with that same leg. Land in a walking stance in a double face punch. From here, you're gonna do another pressing block going from the right up high all the way down to the lower left. Once you get to that pressing block on the lower left, you're gonna perform an uppercut with your left arm. From that uppercut, you're gonna turn all the way around to the left, and you are going to do an elbow strike to the head using your right arm as an elbow. Your left hand is open palm, pretending to be that face. Then you're going to do a jump back fist. Now this back fist is a reinforced back fist. So even though your right hand is the fist, your left arm, your left hand is a palm right on your wrist to help reinforce it. From there, you're gonna step out with your left leg facing the side into another horse stance, another pressing block coming up to where your left arm is that punch, your right arm is that back fist behind you, using that same right arm to then come and alternate into a back fist right in front of you with your left arm underneath. Then shift over back facing to the back in a walking stance to do a ridge hand block with your left arm. Turn into a roundhouse, shifting all the way back around, turning with the left, going to facing the front into a walking stance, double face punch again. Shift your left leg back into a back stance. This is an uppercut of what we also like to call an up yours because your left arm is right in the bending part of your right elbow. From here, we're gonna step forward using our right leg as we face the left direction into another horse stance, which is our second and last arm break technique. Now our right arm is up high, our left arm is down low. 
Turn to the left to face the back into a back stance with a double knife hand low block. Notice that both palms are facing up. Turn to the right to face the front. Do the same thing, back stance, double knife hand low block. This time, your right hand, palm is facing down. Left hand, palm still facing up. Use your left leg as you step to the front, doing an outside inside crescent kick to land into a horse stance with a double mountain block with both fists closed hands. Turn to your right, same leg, do an outside inside crescent kick to a horse stance all the way in the other direction to do another mountain block technique. From here, you're going to use your left leg to step into a walking stance, doing a rising block, reverse high punch. And your final move is to do a half a step turnaround to the left, now facing the front again, with a rising block with your left hand and a reverse high punch with your right. That is a Kia, and you are done.